Hi everyone, welcome back to LA Noir. Here we are with Cole Phelps and a little bit of origami, it would seem. Ooh, quite a lot of origami. Obviously, potential calling cards, I'm guessing. Otherwise, show us. House fire, bad one. At least four Vicks. Get out there and find out what you can. The address is. 650 North Hobart. 650 North Hobart? He seemed really angry when he said that. I'm not sure why. I've been in this job 20 right, years. let's go then. Let's go. Am I driving? Or you can drive. That's him, Ben Cop. He's on the front page of the Times. Oh, hey, Ben you know Cop. How dangerous that is? Oh, dear. Not a Ben Cop after been watching um, Line of Duty here in the UK. Um, yeah. It's, it's all about bent cops, searching for bent cops, and uh, apparently I am one, which is a bit disappointing. But anyway, let's head off to the house fire location at 650 North Holt Street, whatever it was. You hear about Rancho Escondido? Let's get going. Having a conversation, big. <laughs> okay, fuck it. Forget I. I'm teasing you, Herschel. Tell me about it. Well, the new housing development's a couple of weeks from completion. Burned to the ground last night. GIs are ready to move in this weekend. Developers going to have some very angry customers. Any in the vicinity is citizen report. House fire. 11.55 a.m. Oh, yeah. A couple of little yellow flags being highlighted for us. It's very kind. Wow. Coroner's here. Wow, it's quite a big house as well. You guys better see this. I hope you have strong stomachs. Oh, okay. Doesn't bode well. It's not the doggo, is it? Oh, I don't think I could see it. Oh. Oh. Do you have a name? Morelli, Mike. We recovered a picture of the family. Else? To be honest, I just got here, Phelps. Best you talk to Lynch. He's the expert. Doesn't make any sense. Why aren't they scattered around like the rest of the debris? Oh, they're begging. I think they've been moved. Oh. Ooh. I think someone moved them after the explosion and before the fire. Can you explain that, please? I'm almost positive the cause of death is asphyxiation due to gas inhalation. Look at the parts of their bodies that aren't scorched. The coloring around the fingertips is typical. It wouldn't have felt a thing. I think the fire damage is post-mortem. I think someone moved him into this room after the explosion. It still doesn't make any sense. Why would you run into a burning building? That's just weird. Um, what we got here? Oh, it's the photo. They talked about a photo, didn't they? Do you ever think about how many people have died in this world? And how big heaven would have to be to accommodate them bigs? No, I have not. Show some respect. They're quite a ha good-looking family, aren't they? Look happy. Oh, dear. I suppose we got to look at Exhibit A now. We must. Another day, another dollar. Ooh. What are they doing? The prayer effect is from the fire. Muscles and tendons contract. It's our boy. I think he watches the fires. I think the Sawyer fire went wrong. So what about the guy we have in jail, Phelps? We got the wrong guy. That doesn't explain why he ran into a burning building. What would make anyone do that? Guilt. For the fires? For his mistake. This guy wants to burn houses, not families. Oh. He expects the houses to be empty. He was trying to redeem himself. He probably thought they'd be happier together. You are one very disturbed individual, Phelps. Yes. I know you had it rough lately, but you should start to compartmentalize your thoughts. He could be right. Can you come up with an alternative explanation? I'm sure it's the same guy. Are you telling me that some son of a bitch murdered these people, the whole family, and arranged them here like Cupid dolls? Might fit, Cole, but I don't think we could ever prove it. 
There's very little evidence. Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> Albert, oh. check out the hot water system. Make sure we're dealing with the same M.O. Now sure, it's bro. grim. So I'll get back to you. Leave the rest to us, Cole. You better find out what's eating digs. Well, apart from a, a charred human corpse just disintegrated in front of him, I don't know. What could possibly be ruining in his day? Uh, is there anything else around here? Crikey, Moses. Oh. Well, the cellar's full of water, of course, from the, uh, the fire brigade. And the bicycle's going to get all rusty. Oh, what we we'll go over here? Oh, more debris. Oh, something there. A bicycle. This is the flashpoint. The heater detonated with enough force to expose the foundations. It's going to be quite a big bang then, isn't it? Because there's the furnace. I can't get past the tricycle. That's unopenable. Hammer. Oh, they got a little dingle from that hammer. I think it's just a hammer. You're repairing his bicycles with the best tool around, which is, of course, the hammer. Okay, we've got the uh, washing machine there and something here. A pair of pliers. Not getting anything off them, so we'll put those back. Oh, we've got two ironing boards. Look, one there, one um, folded up against the wall, and one down there. How posh. A two ironing board family, eh? Ooh, get these guys. And a hoover, which is now wet. Oh, is that a gold handle? Can we get through there? No. Okay, downstairs checked. My feet are now wet. Let's go and have a ch chat with um, Herschel and uh, see what's eating him. How do we get over here? Where is he? Where is the big babby? So something finally got to you. You want my help, pretty boy? You got it. You keep riding me and you won't be pretty much longer. We can get this guy, Herschel. You think you've seen everything, Phelps? I was with the 2nd Marines at Bella Wood. The things that went on in that farmhouse. My own guys on fire, screaming for a way out. You're not gonna get this guy. There's gonna be no photos and no citations. We're gonna kill this miserable fuck. End of story. Ooh, okay. You get this? Uh, don't think that's technically the law, but you remember the list from the travel agent? Sure. The Morellis were winners too. Their name was uh. on that list. Christ. We should take a look around. Work your neighbors, see what they know. Yeah. I'll go across the street. Okay. Okay. I'll try this side. Thanks, Herschel. Right, so this is all linked to this. Done this for years. Um, this bogus winnings, weren't they, to get people out of the buildings? Um, oh look, some footprints. Oh, some cigarette butts as well. <laughs> what are the footprints I was looking at? Oh, hang on, they've got a a jiggle bit on them. Someone was keeping watch. Looks like they were here for quite a while. Man looks distinctive. Uh, I was actually looking at those. Whoever he was, he was wearing boondockers. Boondockers. I didn't print anywhere. Is that some sort of like industrial boot or something? I've never heard of boon boondockers. That must be an American thing. So the fence is burnt down. Uh, where was the hole? It'd be on this side of the house, wouldn't it? Squelch, squelch, squelch. Yeah, here we go. Here's the uh, this is here's the hole. Here's the um, heater. Looks like the same model. Reginald Valley and Ramon uh, Ramon Nevis. Okay.
Anything else we need to uh, be aware of? Is Doggo okay? Oh, there's no sign of Doggo. Oh, what a sad scene. Anything in the bins? Are you okay over there, sir? What have you found? Nothing? Just taking a moment. I don't blame you. I don't blame you. It's been a har harrowing um, experience for us all. Uh, anything else we're not seeing? Oh, it's a paper. The main reason Santa's so jolly is because he knows where all the bad girls are. Housing. <laughs> so I just heard what that guy said. Housing development burns. Ex servicemen irate as GI houses raised. How did you get my number, Ira? At first, I didn't understand you. But now I do. I'd like you to come back to the clinic. I'm helping other people now, Doctor. I think you are confused. You haven't been to the clinic for weeks. I'm not confused anymore, Doctor. I'm helping people be together. This world is only temporary. We'll all be happier in heaven. Why don't you tell me where you are and I can come to you? I think the fires should end now. They have served their purpose. Oh, the fires are only beginning, Doctor. Oh. After the fires, everything will be beautiful and clean. Mm. Everything will be erased. He's lost control of his the weapon. Will be fresh and new. I can see my purpose now, Doctor. And you helped me to find it. Uh-oh. Hmm. Okay, so we that's a bit of a sneak peek into the arsonist. Where did Herschel go with the neighbour? Well there isn't a neighbour on that side, so it's gotta be the one with the burned down fence. Ah, there he is, I see him. I see somebody, it's not Hirsch. Hello sir. Cole Phelps. LAPD, can you tell me anything about the fire next door? Terrible luck. Imagine after having won that weekend away. What's your name, sir? Foreman. Dudley Foreman. Right. Uh, the Morelli Fire Witness Report, please. Did you see or hear anything that might have... Look, we were asleep when we heard the explosion. Well, his eyes are twitching and his head's twitching, so that's obviously not true. But I don't have anything to say that he's lying, so it's got to be a doubt for me. You didn't like Morelli, did you? Some neighbours you get along with, some you don't. Guess they should have sold up. What do you mean? They're knocking down all these old houses and building a new subdivision for GIs. Morelli was being difficult. Ah, okay, so it's another one of these forcing jobs, I guess. Did you see anyone hanging around the Morelli's home prior to the explosion? Nope. Can't say as I was looking out, though. Well, he doesn't seem... That doesn't seem right. Um, we have the cigarette butts, but it doesn't mean that he actually saw him and the boot prints, does it? It means... Uh... Doubt. You sure, Mr. Ford? Ooh, I was lucky. There are signs of someone hanging around over there by the fence. Hey, now that you come to think of it, there was a guy. Kind of tall. Skinny, though. Anything else? Orange lumber jacket, a beat-up hat, and no hair. I thought he was the pest exterminator guy who was working around here the last few days. But that guy uh. had hair. Oh. Uh, planned demolitions? You said someone is knocking these houses down? Elysian Fields. You must know them. They're billboards. That Monroe character beaming down at you. We've had an offer for the house. <laughs> Did the Morellis want to sell? I don't know. 
But you just told me that he was playing hardball. Didn't you just tell me that? Uh, he literally just told me that, and there's no... I can't get him in a lie, because... Whatever you thought of Morelli, his whole family is dead. They couldn't have all deserved that. I want you to help me here, Foreman. Morelli was pig-headed. He built the house himself. He didn't want to sell. Stubborn fool was ruining it for all of us. Right, and the promotional travel contest. You said the Morellis had won a weekend away. To Catalina Island? Yeah, that's right. First thing I thought after the explosion was, thank goodness they was away. But then I find out they were still in there. Who was running the competition? What? I don't know. I think he's telling the truth on that one. He's got no reaction. You didn't enter yourself? I'd already agreed to sell. The competition was an incentive for those who were still thinking about it. Thanks for your time, Mr. Foreman. Sure. Hey, if you're interested, I have one of those competition flyers in the kitchen. I oh, yes, get please. It for you if you like. That would be great. Yep, yep. That would be awesome. Oh. Any luck, Cole? Ah, oh, the origami. A folded piece of paper. It looks complicated. Japanese call it origami. Can I take a look? Sure. Do you have to Perfect. unfold it? There's a legend about them. Fold 1,000 of these and you get a wish. Oh, I didn't know that. Hey, don't break it. I'm not. I'm unfolding it. It looks like a waybill or a flyer. For what? Elysian Fields. For Elysian Fields developments. Oh, am I supposed to do that? Put it away. Put it away. Here he comes with the flyer. Oh, I see you already have one. Ah. So they had the, uh, oh, it had the, um, the tear off bit at the bottom. When did the flyer arrive in your mailbox? They've been arriving for weeks. This one was in the mailbox when I got home from work yesterday afternoon. Ah. Right then, um, the telephone is shining, so let's go and find the telephone. How bad is it? Come on, you can tell me. It's pretty bad, boys. It's pretty bad. All these cops got to be something big, right? What? Can you not see the house on fire <laughs> or being burnt down? I need an address for a property developer, Elysian Fields Developments. One moment, detective. Go, this poor woman. The address is 748 North Oxford Avenue, Wilshire. Anything else? Messages, please. You have a message. Contact Captain McKelty immediately. Ooh, Thanks. okay. Can you Is he the fire chief? Please? Of course. Here you are. Commander? He leads on the Morelli farm. We're about to go and visit Elysian Fields Developments. Commander, we have a line of inquiry. Uh -oh. If you have something, you bring it to me. You're hanging by a thread, Phelps. Do you understand? Uh-huh. Yes, sir. Good. I have a report on my death. Oh, the today. corruption. The corruption. Kelty has warned us off over a lesion. Makes sense. It's a dead end. We should check out Rancho Escondido. Uh, okay. You know the place? Sure. Corner of Fountain and Wilton. Let's go. Do you want to fill the fire truck? No, okay. Oh, okay, let's go to Rancho Escondido. Here we are at Rancho Escondido at 12.30. You know, there are times when you really miss a nightstick. There's more religion in the end of a nightstick than in a hundred cathedrals. Oh, more fire. Wow. 
Oh, he did say the whole thing's been burned down. I'm not gonna tell you again, sir. Don't tell me when and how I can come and go on my own property. It is not. This is America, safe, dickhead. Sir. Now step back, or I'll lock you up for Smart a break. Son of a bitch. Oh, blood and everything. Oh God, hang on. Black and blue. That's done it. We're gonna have to pacify these poor saps. You're going down for the count. Stand down. Had a bad break, but this isn't the answer. Boom, sorry. Couldn't get the controls working for a moment. There we go. Come on, then. Boom. Stamp him. Stamp him. It's not befitting a GI. Stand down. That's an order. Stand down. Stand down. You've had a bad break, but this isn't the answer. <laughs> Go on, get on the floor. Oh, I think I just broke his skull. I'm so sorry. Good thing you showed up when you did, detectives. Those folks were baying for blood. Okay. Don't worry, I handled that beautifully. Don't worry about the blood on the um on the ground there. Oh, officer, your hat. Can we can we swap hats? No, okay. I was gonna put that cap. Right, anyway. Um Okay, off goes the uh Oh the ambulance is here as well. Uh, so can we wash the blood off the um the freshly laid turf there? That'd be good. Ooh. Is there the fire oh, there's a fire truck, is the fire chief over here by any chance? What are we looking for? There's so many fires, where to begin? I'm trying to see if there's anything obvious like a fire chief standing in the... Uh, I suppose we could try and find the boiler, see if the boilers are blown up, or these have just been set on fire. All these GI homes, look at this. Somebody pushing back against the development? Or... What do you reckon? I'm stumped around. Ideas? There's not much left, but it's worth a shot. Okay, I'll have a look around. Oh, I got a tinkle. It was a brick. What, was supposed to... what does this tell me? Uh, oh, I'm not sure. I don't know. It's got to be important. Oh, there we go. Mortar is like dust. Is that normal in a fire? I'd expect some shrinkage in the heat, but it looks like the cement barely adhered to the brick. Doesn't appear to be any wall ties either. This thing looks like it was built on the cheap. Uh, is it a f Whoa! Uh, they if built. They took a visit to Alicia and ruining my career. Let's bite the bullet and get on with it. Okay, well done, Herschel. Don't want to overtalk him. Yeah, so it seems like they've they've got the major contract to build all these GI homes after the war. They've done them dirt cheap, and either they're gonna take the money from the uh, the government's money, or they are um, then gonna burn them down and uh, get the insurance. It's a scam either way. Not quite sure which way they're going. We're gonna run really slowly to the car. Come on, Phelps, you're an ex-marine. Right, come on, Elysian Fields, it is. End our careers? Might as well. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Elysian Fields. Are you ready for this, Herschel? We didn't we didn't get a cutscene, so we might have done this wrong. Here we go. Cutscene, finally. <laughs> 550 PM. 
wasn't much of a cutscene. Real, really wasn't worth the wait. But let's go. Hello there. Please. Detectives Phelps and Biggs, LAPD, to see Leland Monroe. Do you have an appointment? With a police lady. We don't need an appointment. <laughs> Can That's I tell good. them what it's about? It's we an like official that. investigation. There are two police officers here to see Mr. Monroe. Send them through. Oh, Herschel knows That's where he's true. going. Thanks, ma'am. Herschel, steady on. Try hiring a lawyer. May I help you, gentlemen? Oh, like another secretary. Mr. Monroe. I'm afraid it's impossible. Mr. Monroe's schedule is booked weeks in advance. Cut to the chase, sister. Is he in? I'm not at liberty to reveal that officer. So he hired you for your intelligence? <laughs> I find that offensive. You have every right to. Just getting us nowhere, miss. I like Herschel. Would you like us to return with a warrant? That won't be necessary, gentlemen. Come into my office. Yeah, we're in. Come on, big guy. You like Ooh, a nice cigar? Office. Drink a cigar? Sure, I love a scotch. Biggs. <laughs> Ooh, look at these developments they got on the go. See, they look nice. So, how much are they? Um, the cheap one is nine thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. I can't quite read what that says. They're nine thousand eight hundred twenty thousand and ten thousand two hundred fifty dollars. Okay. We're investigating a series of domestic fires, Mr. Monroe. Terrible boys. How can I help? Isn't he the steward of Gondor? What's his name? The one who catches fire and then jumps off the um the tower. Ah, oh, it's been so long since I've seen Lord of the Rings, I can't remember. But yeah, that's who it is, isn't it? Um, Elysian linked to the arsons. Elysian Fields and Suburban Redevelopment Fund flyers keep turning up in the vicinity of the fires. They're turning up all over town, boys. Can you imagine the current demand for housing? So that's your explanation, Mr. Monroe? Coincidence? Explanation? Why, what's to explain? I advertise on radio and billboards for buyers, and I advertise for sellers using waybills. I don't think he's telling the truth, but I don't think I've got anything to convince him he's lying. Um, I've doubted him. We found a family burnt out in their home. Another house burned to the ground. Another Elysian Fields flyer. Our information is that they didn't want to sell. Are you saying that's something to do with me? Is that your point? point yes. Is, every time we find a family barbecue, we find one of your flyers. Is that good advertising? No, it's not. <laughs> what do you know about a competition for families to win free vacations to Catalina Island? My company runs many promotions. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not familiar with that one. Oh, come on! It's on your flyer! Come on, that's got to be a lie. And it's. Level with me. I should have checked you the know evidence. All about the vacation offers. You can believe whatever you like, son. You're missing the vital ingredient called proof. Uh, I'm starting to doubt myself. Flyers. No, we do have the flyers. There we go. Boom. Your face is all over the flyers, Mr. Monroe. You know about the prizes, and you're aware that they get given to holdouts. My face is the brand. It's on all our advertising. Did you know that the mayor and the chief of police are part of the Suburban Redevelopment Fund? Are they? Do you want to accuse them of murder as well? Maybe, maybe. Oh, Huckster achievement. Nice. I have no idea what that is for. <laughs> uh, local land acquisitions. We've made offers to buy houses in areas where fires have been recorded. Mm -hmm. Are you suggesting that I'm burning people out of their homes so that I can sell them new ones? What happens to your plans if a family like the Morellis refuses to sell? We work around them. Business finds a way. 
That's the American way. He's got no. Um. Go oh, ahead. What was that? Land cleared to allow construction of a tunnel. No. I've got nothing. Um, do we think he's telling the truth? No, clearly he's not telling the truth. Come on, Mr. Monroe. You expect me to believe that you would build a new development with one of those old piles smack bang in the center of it? Progress is an inexorable process, detective. Those who choose to stand in defiance are usually confined to the waste basket of history. To answer your question, Yes, we would build around them if we had to. Most people see sense. Hmm. What's Elysian Fields' involvement in Rancho Escondido? One of our latest housing developments. It was due to open on the weekend, or was before the unfortunate conflagration. It met with building code regulation. Absolutely. Only the best for our returning heroes. Well, we know that ain't true. Um, poor cement quality. There we go. So we can call that as a lie. You're lying, Ro. There's something out of kilter about that development. Son, I've had enough of you and your fidgety friend. <laughs> There's no way in hell you can prove that my materials were inferior. Well, apart from the evidence we have right here. I'm no expert, but I think we'll find that the bricks being used on those houses are undersized and the mortar is faulty. And there's no wall ties connecting the masonry to the frame. Every building is built to a budget, boys. Ooh. Those buildings were inspected and fully insured by California Fire and Light. We'll have to look at them then. Investment of that magnitude demands it. Do you think that they'd vouch for the buildings without examining them? The arsonists, do you have any suspects? We aren't at liberty to say. I didn't think so. Contractors I use for waybills. You suppose there could be any of them? I have a list of their names if it'd be of any help. That, that would, would be, be help, Mr. Monroe. Glad to hear it. I'm always happy to help the LAPD. Mm hmm. My secretary will provide you with that list. Did you know that I'm on the board of the police pension fund? Ooh. Ouch, another achievement. Let's oh. get help, officers. Uh -huh. death. What's the story? Go Any of these away. names ring a bell? <laughs> this secretary has got some. Um... I don't recognize anyone, do you? Um... List of contractors, okay. Does it do anything? Ah, Hubert Chapman, Hubert that's the guy. On this list. <laughs> no idea who that is. Find the phone. We need to know where we're at with Chapman. Yeah, yeah absolutely we do. It's Chapman, I knew it was Chapman. From the very first moment. Can I borrow your phone, please? Boss is a fine man. Hello! People in here. Can I use your telephone, please? Thank you. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. Phelps, one, two, four, seven. How can I help, Detective? Can you check whether we are still holding a Herbert Chapman? Let oh, we're holding him. Oh, okay. Do we arrest him then? I can't he was remember. released this morning, Detective. Ah, oh, typical. I'm sorry, Detective. It's not your fault. Can you give me a last known address and put out an APB on the guy? I'll get back to you, Detective. APB will go out over KGPL shortly. Oh, Thanks. they. What's Herschel doing? <laughs> they love their acronyms, don't they? Oh, they just love them. Love them. Right, what's happening now? 
Oh, it's back in the lounge. Buy me a drink, Hall. No, no. It's sleaze bag. Not even for old times' sake. Not even for that. You're not gonna ask me why I'm here. I wouldn't give you the pleasure. We'll get around it. She's in fine voice this evening. I wonder how the commander would feel Save about the threats for someone who cares about them, Roy. Ooh. You're breaking my heart, Cole. You know how I feel about you. Stay away from Elysian Fields. Ah, uh, he's on the page. Should have known that you were playing errand boy. You and your doofus partner. You have been warned. Thanks for your cooperation, officer. I love you. Stay away. You have no idea the type of people that are involved in that company. I have a pretty good idea, Roy. The same kind of people that sent you here. Your investigation is finished. Homicide will be taking over from here. I've heard we've had a spate of grass fires in the hills that you and that hunchback might be able to handle. Thanks for the drink, Cole. Hello, chap, he is. Elsa's apartment, 8.45 a.m. Aye, aye. about Monroe. Yeah, Earl delivered it. You? The Kelty started making noises about my pension. Sorry. We're on to it. I didn't mean to drag you into this. Save it, Phelps. Monroe's an asswipe. And so was Earl. And so was McKelty when it's all said and done. KGBL calling car 11K, 11K. I think 11K, that's us. go ahead. 11K, the last known address of suspect Herbert Chapman is 650 North Kingsley Drive in Wilshire. Roger that, KGPL. 11K en route. Let's go pick him up. I'm sure you it's just... You bought Sugarloaf, didn't you? I did. But I don't like to talk about it. You come across a guy called Jack Kelso out that way? You know Jack Kelso? He's an insurance investigator over at California Fire and Life. Our paths cross from time to time. For huh. some reason, seeing you makes me think of him. Has, uh, Jack spoken to you about his experiences on Sugarloaf? Or the rest of the campaign? Jack keeps stung just like you do. I know what it feels like to get back from conflict. You gotta respect that. Oh, I thought I thought the car was called Sugarloaf and he flooded it. Um, right, let's go. Over to Chapman's apartment then. Here we are at Chapman's apartment, 9.26 a.m. Hello, sir. Cole, We're Phelps. looking for Herbert Chapman. I'm looking for him, too. I need him to move his car so I can mow the lawn. He's definitely not here. I've been banging on his door off and on for a couple of hours. Yeah, he's out somewhere. Oh, okay. Let's take a look at the car. Right. Oh, I got a tinkle tinkle right there. Oh, it's going in the back. Ooh. Let's see what he's hauling around. Hey, you got these mod skills. Now, these are the, um... Uh, the, uh, the... Time is what opportunity they? and hard evidence. Uh, what's this? Oh, 50 ammo. Eight shots missing. The APB. He's clearly armed. He's got some flyers as well. Yeah. It gives him opportunity. Doesn't it just? Doesn't it just? Oh, I wish I... Hold it, Cole. There he is. It's Chapman. He's coming out of the laundromat. Shit. Superior, He's Lord seen man. us. Cops. Again. Oh. He's on the tram. Son of a bitch. He must have caught the trolley. We gotta move fast, Cole. Oh, okay. The trolley. That's what we call it, a cart. 
A trolley is a, is a UK um, shopping cart. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing it. <laughs> Am I supposed to be ramming? Requesting assistance in pursuit of suspect aboard the 1110 University streetcar. Currently heading east on Melrose oh my God. Avenue. Advise all units. Suspect is in control of car and driving dangerously. Roger, 11K. All units, officers need assistance on Melrose Avenue. Oh my goodness me! University streetcar headed eastbound. Watch out! Approach with caution. Suspect is in control of the streetcar and driving dangerously. Oh. I may have just... Stay on his ass, Cole. Don't lose him. Well, where's he gonna go? Just need to follow the tracks. It's fine. Oh, he's got his hazards on. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, get the fire truck out. Oh, come on. You can do a lot better there. I don't think you can pit maneuver a tram, can you? See if you can damage one ah. of the wheels. Might act like a brake and slow the thing down. Oh, okay. I'm closing up on him. Don't go to sleep on me. Get it close. This isn't the fastest car in the Hold world. As soon as he ditches the tram, we'll be there to grab him. End of the line, you little prick. Oh, Come there's on. people on board. Where is he? I didn't realize it. He's. Ah! Reinforcements are on the way. Cease and desist. Well, I thought I could just go over to arrest him. Well done. I'm not so sure. Chapman seemed to have his own agenda. <laughs> just go just running out, to push him over. Vendetta. What are you talking about? The fires benefit a lesion in some way. Yeah. I see Chapman and Monroe working together. You have a point. The evidence is good for Chapman. Hard to be worrying about his side of the story when he's blasting away with that big 45. Who's this wandering in the background? Nice work, gentlemen. Oh. Put yourself at considerable risk stopping that trolley and probably saved a lot of lives. Yeah. Anyone else but you, Phelps, and you'd be up for a bravery award. Oh, thanks. We've had our eyes on that slippery son of a bitch Chapman for as long as I can remember. I couldn't be happier than to wipe him off the scoreboard. Wow. I hope this puts to bed that crazy stuff you had going about Leland Monroe. What were you thinking, Phelps? The building behind just sort of Richard walked Nixon in or something. Next. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say you think Richard Nixon's a crook? Brilliant. There's an archer there about to shoot the sheep. Oh, back at Elsa's. What is it? A letter from Lou. His insurance policy named me beneficiary. California fire and life. You worked for Elysian? The roof that he was working on collapsed. It's a very generous settlement. Elsa, I'd like you to do something for me. I think there's something dirty about Elysian Fields. What has that got to do with Lou? I want you to reject this settlement. I want you to go and see an investigator named Jack Kelso and ask him to make some inquiries about Lou's case. Ooh. Isn't this police work? Do you want to find out what happened to Lou? Why would he help this Kelso? Jack won't be able to help himself if he smells a rat. He's a friend of yours? He hates my guts. Don't we all? Elsa, don't we all call? You take this money and let them get away with it, or we could get Jack's help and do something about it. Why not be honest with this man, Cole? He deserves your honesty if you want his help. Believe me, Elsa, I'd like to level with him. Really would, but it's too late. Years too late. Oh, that's it. Oh man, that's a really good case. It feels unfinished. Oh dear. Don't look at the. Oh dear. Phew. <laughs> Ignore the vehicle damage. Uh. 13 of 13 clues found. 8 of 8 questions. We rocked this one. 5 star clay case. Valorous. Fantastic. Case closed. Chapman 
takes his motive and any possible ties to Monroe and Elysian Fields to the grave. Maybe I shouldn't have been so accurate with my shot. I should have, I should have persisted with the uh, trying to push him over. <laughs> but look at that conduct. $1,242 of vehicle damage. Crikey. $10 of city damage. See, I'm not I'm not sure quite where all that vehicle damage came from. Maybe I clipped a few cars chasing the uh, the tram. I don't know. But there we go. A walk in Elysian Fields. Complete. Case closed. Five stars. Bish bash bosh. Cole is a hero, but everyone hates him, so he doesn't get any rewards for it. Thank you so much for watching this LA Noir playthrough. I hope you're enjoying it. I certainly am indeed. Remember to hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you next time for the next case. Thank you so much for all your support. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.